Hello everyone, uh, Jose here with a tip on how to look out for parts for HP machines. Uh, obviously, uh, if you're in front of the machine and the part itself has the part number, get it from there. Always compare it with what you have on the uh, part server. Uh, it's a little annoying, but it always asks you to verify. So we go to the United States. Thank you very much. Uh, we put in the serial number of the machine we're working on. I think it's loading. Hopefully, I put it. Yes. And here you have it. Uh, these are all the parts for this specific machine. Uh, the first tab, the general tab, is, is uh, our parts for all the machines in that series. If you want to know the ones that are unique for the that serial number that you just put in, you click on advanced. And here you have all the parts that you need. Heat sinks, uh, RAM, hard drive. Okay. So um, all the parts that we can order should end in 001. If it ends on 002 or anything else, it is most likely not a part that we can order. So that will tell you right there, do not order a part that ends in L31. Every part that we have to, that we can order, ends in 001. So that will prevent any mistakes from happening. Okay, so anything with a 001, it's a correct part. Just make sure that you get in the right part, obviously. And that's how you look up for parts for HP machines. Do not, I repeat, do not look for parts uh, from a spreadsheet or from Google or Bing or whatever it is. Go to the source, HP Part Surfer. Uh, the address is partsurfer.hp.com. Uh, and that's it. All right.